Hey Dutch, thanks for joining us. 2-0 uh, at home to Gosport. Very happy with that, I'm sure. What's your thoughts on it? Yeah, no, I love that game. Um, love a clean sheet and um, also, you know, the way the lads had to dig in there to get the win. Um, credit to the boys for that. They were, they're absolutely outstanding. I thought it was um, a tight game, close game, a bit of cat and mouse um, for long periods of the game. Uh, the first goal was going to be key. Um, fortunately for us, we got it. And um, yeah, other than obviously the penalty incident um, at the end there, I think we contained them and um, dealt with them quite um, quite well. We we're just a little bit unfortunate um, to concede that penalty. But thankfully for us, um, they didn't convert this time. <laughs> and um, we managed to seal the game with fantastic composure, I must say, from the team. You know, it would have been easy to pick the wrong options there. The ball's come into um, Josh Squires and, uh, you know, nine out of ten players would probably just put the laces through it and hope for the best but he had the composure and um, intelligence to you know overload it to Hedgy and then Hedgy obviously showed the same composure could have easily snatched at it didn't um, calmed himself down and um, slotted it away and um, yeah it was pretty sweet that goal sealed the match yeah uh, his 20th birthday today man of the match and uh, the goal that sealed it it's uh, quite a day for the young lad yeah, well, he's been great since he's come to us. You know, he's had a couple of knocks and niggles, but it, you've got to almost remind yourself how young he is at times. He's got such intelligence, um, old head on young shoulders, and um, he's got a really bright future. So that's uh, six wins uh, this season, still early on, and I think we've only managed five in each of the last two. It's uh, become a bit of a fortress here at the Raymac, which is a welcome sign. Yeah, no, look, the turnout was magnificent today, wasn't it? I think it was um, over 800 and... Um, they really do make a difference and um, I keep harping back to when I used to play here um, you know it's such a fortress when when you get it swinging the momentum in your direction and you know the the get us over the line as they did today and the, the lads feed off their energy and I think it can be an intimidating place for opposition and yeah to get six wins this season um, is great like you said we only managed the five the previous season and the five before that so um, we wanted to we, myself and Cal knew how important it was to make the Raymac a fortress again and, and get people coming and enjoying the football, enjoying um, being upstairs in the bar and um, we've managed to do that but it's early days, you know, nothing, nothing's been achieved yet other than a good start and it's really important we keep our feet on the ground and um, we, we go into the next um, fixture with, um, with, with the humbleness we need. Um, we can hear the bar buzzing behind us which is great to hear. Um, that, I don't know if you know, this is uh, actually the 12 month anniversary of your arrival here at uh, Salisbury FC, how would you summarise this year? Well, it's a big one, that. <laughs> yeah, that is a big question. Do you know what? It's it's probably the the, the best and the worst thing um, to happen. Just me coming in at that period last season, because ultimately it's given me the opportunity to um, watch watch matches, watch um, our previous players, watch um, watch opposition players, have a look at um, potential players that fit the mould for me, and. Um, it's 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 it was a tough slog um, last season, but um, it was probably required for us to have this group this season and um, have them performing as they are currently. You know, um, like I said, we don't want to get our head of head get ahead of ourselves but I'm really happy with the group as it stands and um, they seem to have the right attitude and um, willingness to sacrifice themselves for the team and for the football club and um, as long as we can keep our feet on the ground and keep working hard I'm sure we've got a bright future. Um, showed the kind of how flexible this squad can be today with uh, with a few few faces not available um, and, and that seeing that win out that's, that's put us in third two points off top spot I know we're not getting ahead of ourselves, as you say, but we're going to celebrate the little things uh, with the game in hand. Yeah, no, look, I think um, we've been very unfortunate with injuries. Thomas Bragg obviously had a real bad injury and um, he's been excellent since he's come back into the fold. Yeah. We're still missing um, key players as well. Theo's doing a little bit of work on the sidelines there, getting himself back up to fitness. James Harding, our striker, he's been away for you know a long period this season and he's, he's, he's had rotten luck with his injuries, um, mm. a heart issue and then um, an issue to the sole of his foot, which is, you know, it's the first time I've, he I've ever heard of that injury. Um, so, you know, we, we are um, probably got a couple more gears to go up when everyone's fit and um, raring to go so um, like I said hopefully if we can keep our feet on the ground stay humble keep working hard the, the future's bright excellent we'll talk again in 12 months <laughs> <laughs> awesome. cheers Dad. thanks for joining us cheers Ian